Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Box again today. I want to give you guys the day three update with the Retaliation Warder. Uh, we are playing Cell Found on a new save file. For people who don't know, I basically took my old Grimdon save file, copied it over, and then deleted it so that I could have a fresh experience on this character. So far, it feels pretty good. Um, I know a lot of people say Retaliation is like super slow, but it really doesn't necessarily feel that slow. Uh, it's got, I mean, I can understand compared to like a direct auto attack build that's like geared, it could be slow because you gotta wait for the monsters to hit you. But it's definitely a good way to learn Grimdon again and to remember, you know, what is essentially scary, what is spooky. But also, I think that the clear of the character will go up uh, significantly once we finally get a piece of gear with retaliation damage added to attack. So right now, I'm basically just going to go through and show you a little bit of clearing on the character. So we're 62. We are currently in elite difficulty. Our resistances, for the most part, are max, except for our poison and acid. Don't really have to worry about it, though. Nothing has really necessarily hurt our character too much yet, which is pretty cool. We haven't really tried any of the super big hidden bosses, because I just don't really see the need to at the moment, since I'm still gearing out. But I've got zero pieces of my set. So I made a Grim Calc and updated it so you guys can actually see everything that my character has. And we'll talk about that after I'm done showing you a little bit of content. So I want to explain to you guys where the goals of my character are right now. So I just finally got all my devotions. Um, the only devotion I'm missing from my tree right now is essentially uh, Arcane Bomb at the Widow. The problem with Arcane Bomb is it uh, shreds their offensive ability and it shreds their lightning res. Lightning will be my main type of damage, but the thing is, is right now it's primarily physical, and physical is not an element, which means, I mean, it just doesn't really make sense, essentially, to minus their lightning res at the moment. So we're kind of holding off on our last devotion, um, which I kind of don't necessarily like, but I'll just spec into something, you know, just to make us more tanky and then get, essentially, more gear that makes me more offensive. We are using some reputation gear. I think the only reputation gear we're using at the moment is Legion War Seals, which are rings you can find at Fort Icon. They're really good. They give plus to Counter-Strike, Retaliation damage, Health, and Physical Retaliation, which is super solid. Oh, here you go. Here's like a 600k HP Big Boy Elite, or I guess Mini Boss. Let's see how much he does. So he's taking about 58,000 damage per hit. And then with my Counter-Strike procs, it's about 20,000 damage Counter-Strike. So definitely for like these guys, it's it's pretty solid. The only problem I have is because I have too much defensive ability, which is never really a problem except in Grim Dawn, uh, the bosses have like minus 20% accuracy when trying to hit me. And if they miss, as someone... Ooh! Oh, these are not good for me. Damn, that sucks. As someone in my comments pointed out, if they miss, they don't actually get to roll against the retaliation, which is kind of why I'm sort of pushing my character to ultimate right now, because there's not really much of a point for me to stay in elite. I can just come back and do the quest later that give me skill points and stat points. I literally like cannot put physique in anymore, because if I put physique in, I get more defensive ability, and then monsters cannot hit me. I cannot spec into Tenacity of the Boar yet, which I want to, but Tenacity of the Boar gives defensive ability, which will make them stop hitting me. I also cannot spec into Field Command because it gives defensive ability, and as you all know right now, <laughs> too much defensive ability. We also don't have any Augments on our gear yet, and Augments essentially um, can give us huge amounts of damage or survivability potentially. So there are a couple things I want to kind of lay some tips down for right now. If you plan on playing this build or you want to play a retaliation build in general, there are a few components you need to make sure you can counter. So number one, retaliation doesn't work on ranged monsters and it doesn't work on casters. So for example, this guy, he's taking nothing. So how do I kill him? Well, I have pretty much all ended on this skill from Soldier called Counter-Strike. You can see my Counter-Strike has 10 levels past maximum level. The reason why is because uh, my Counter-Strike essentially uh, we have 10 hard points, well, we have 16 hard points, and then an additional 10 levels of plus through our gear. Now, Counter Strike can proc off of damage, and it doesn't have to be physical damage, it doesn't have to be melee damage, which means when targets are hitting me, that, that little spin circle you do, once they connect that right there, that's the Counter Strike. 
So that helps us immensely when doing single target right now against targets that we cannot really counter strike, or sorry, we cannot retaliate on. And I'm even using a shield right now. It's an Overlord Colossus Fortress of Vitality, which means it rolled a rare stat as a primary. So it rolled Overlord, which I believe has physical damage resistance, physical damage retaliation, maybe physical damage and retaliation damage, and then Vitality gave the health prefix, unless Vitality is also paired to the Fizz Resist. I ended up uh, farming for this type of weapon at the Malmuth, oops, over here at, I think it was Steel Cap District. You have to do a quest line to unlock the NPCs, but I basically was resetting the shop till I could find a decent shield, and this one's pretty sick. So I have another one where if you look here, when I click this, everything attacks me. I've basically spec'd into Warcry from Soldier, which is pretty nice to be honest. Warcry basically, you don't really have to put this many points, put as many as you'd like in terms of like when the AoE clear feels good. And put at least one point into Break Morale. Break Morale actually disrupts target skills, which actually takes casters and will make them attack you and stop healing for like a very small amount of time. And since most mo now the thing is, I don't know if this actually works on like elites and stuff, but it definitely works on uh, like your normal trash mobs, which is good because just in general, you want to get those out of the way. Skills not ready. Do, 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 do. do we have any big boys over here? No, we can see the range guys there, they stopped and ran in melee as well. I can't do that yet. Okay, so now I kind of want to talk about the... I guess the skill points that I'm allocating into. Since I didn't cover it too much last go. Uh, remember, I will be posting the Grim Calc for you guys so you can see everything I'm about to show you. So if I don't talk about something enough for you, just feel free to check that out. So, uh, I started off Shaman and went Primal Strike to level, Primal Strike and Torrent basically, and then once I decided to go Retaliation around mid-30s, I decided to drop that. So the only thing I really use from Shaman right now is like Entangling Vines one point, because if you look at it, it says 4% of Retaliation damage added to attack. That just allows me to kill casters faster if I need to and range mobs. Then I also max my Drogon's Pact while leveling and uh, essentially it gives you energy regen per second, which is really good for sustaining your Primal Strike. Um, now I just have Heart of the Wild because it's maximum health, it's extremely strong. Uh, and then I've got Oak Skin, which gives Armor, Pierce Res, Aether Res, Retaliation Damage, very strong. And then whenever we finally go Elemental, which is basically gated by gear, we go Wind Devil and max out Raging Tempest, which I think is minus 30% or maybe 30-something Ali Res, which is really cool. I don't like the slow target, though, because I want targets to hit me faster, but hopefully this you really just use for bosses and it doesn't even matter. So for Soldier, this is where most of the big points go. Uh, military conditioning, I'll max it, but why am I not maxing it? Because it gives me physique, and physique gives me defensive ability. Um, this is very, very strong. Next up, shield training, max. It's basically your block chance and your block time. Uh, I don't know if that's time before you can block next or the animation you're stuck in for block. Veteracy is really good too. It's I put like two points into it because the life regen was scaling by like two or three percent. Basically it gives flat regen and percent regen. Nothing really too important to sink points into, but it synergizes really well with all the regen we have. Decorated Soldier is good for the res. I've only got one point in it since we're going to have a bunch of plus the Soldier anyway. I was told that armor absorption is like super insane, so this is mainly why I decided to get Scars of Battle for the armor absorption. Um, I went one point into Menhir's Will because nothing literally reduces my health right now, but this is super, super good because it's a second win that gives percentage of max health heal and gives flat regen, which scales off our percentage. Uh, Overguard would definitely be a point in that I would put, but again, I'm not really taking damage right now. Uh, Field Command, I maxed when I was doing Primal Strike because of the flat offensive ability. I would max it right now, but the defensive ability would just hurt me too much. Uh, Blitz, one point for mobility. Fighting Command or Fighting Spirit, I had more than one point when I was actually using Primal Strike because of the offensive ability. And then I just told you guys about Warcry, and then that covers this. 
As for the devotions, we've done a little bit more work, so I can show you now we've completely filled out Behemoth. Uh, we started putting points into Targo. Targo is really nice, but it gives defensive ability, which kind of fucking sucks, but you know, what can we do about it? <laughs> uh, then I ended up getting my Shield Maiden here. I also got my Obelisk of Men here, which is super, super good. Uh, and I, like I said, I would now go into Widow, and to go into Widow, I would respec a dog because Widow gives three as a bonus, and that's all I need because men here is only 15 and we have 16. So, uh, I don't really have anywhere to go with my points right now, so I'll worry about that later. But that pretty much covers everything. Um, the other important things I want to talk about, kind of like the highlights we got on upgrades, were obviously the shield I was talking about. <clears throat> you can also find the totally normal shield, which is a legendary that you can find essentially once every difficulty i think if you have the expansion for forgotten gods you can just look on google it's like you literally just go right and then go down and you'll find it it's, it's not really anything super special the only reason why i'm using it is because it gives the counter blow chance on block and it does percentage of retaliation damage so it's like five thousand. that's really the only reason i take it see i'll actually show you guys where to go for this the other thing is, I ended up getting these Rune Plates of Ignifar, which are pretty good, mainly because they give Wave of Fire, which is 8% of retaliation damage added to attack. Ah, I cannot... um, the other thing is, we put a component on our shield, which is really nice. It's called Mark of Myrmidon. Uh, it gives us physical retaliation and gives us a buff that adds huge piercing... Reta is it pierce retaliation? It's physical retaliation. I don't think Pierce Retaliation is a thing. Wait, why can I not go through here? Oh, here we go. Okay, so if you want this item I'm talking about, then you just go south here instead. And then there's going to be this jar right here on the left. And uh, the only way to acquire it is to subscribe to me on Twitch Prime. I'm just kidding. You can totally just kick the vase over and you get a totally normal shield. And actually, look at that. This one's an upgrade because it gives plus one to all soldiers. So fuck yeah, that's awesome. I like that. What is it, like 13 levels? No problem. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. For anything else, feel free to just check out the Grim Calc that I'll link in the comments below. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves in this Grim Dawn expedition. And I will catch you guys all tomorrow. Don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a good one, everybody.